Okay. Yeah, praise be to God, people in Paramount, We're just so blessed to come out here and, uh, and greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. There's no other name but the name of Jesus Christ, which the Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. So we had to encourage you, that remind you that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Above all sickness, above all disease, above everything, it's about Jesus Christ. And also to encourage you to tell you people in, in, Mount, in Paramount that, that God loves you. God loves you so much. If we all know how, how much the love of God loved us, we will be moved by this great love. Well, it's moved God to give His only begotten Son. It's moved the King of King and the Lord of Lord to give His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you and, I, and me, my, my brothers and sisters. That's, that's how the love of God is. He shows His love. You know, that's how powerful the love of God, giving His only begotten Son, who knew no sin, had no sin, got nothing to do about sin, but He came and dealt that sin, which we are committing right now, today, right now, this afternoon, this evening, the sin that we are committing, Christ came for that, to remove from us, so that we can live. People in Mount Palamala are happy and are holy life before our Heavenly Father. So that's why He gave His Son, Jesus Christ, the love that He had for you and I. He takes His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you and I. He takes a human being, a holy human being, a King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, to die for you and I, my brother. So, uh, we have to encourage you about that love. And above all, I'd like to talk to you about, about this light. You know, Jesus Christ is everything. He's the food. If you're hungry, you can ask Him. If He's the water, if you're thirsty, you can come to Jesus Christ. If you're walking in darkness, which I'm going to share to you about now, if you're walking into darkness, Jesus can be a light for you. Jesus can be a light, will be a light for you. If you're walking in darkness, people in Paramount, we all walk in darkness. But in the point of our life, we come to recognize, man, this darkness is getting darker and darker in my life. I need to be saved, I need to be delivered, I need to be restored. So I'm, I'm talking to you about the light. Later on you're going to go to bed because the sun is going to go down. It's going to be dark. You're going to go to bed. And then tomorrow you're going to wake up because the sun is up. But this light that Jesus Christ it will not go down. This light, if you accept Jesus Christ, when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, it can become a light for you. A light in the problem that you are walking right now. Jesus can be a light in the midst of any chaos. Jesus can deliver us from the mess that we are in because He is the light. If Jesus is the light, He will show you the way. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, Your word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Psalm is talking about the word that is Christ Jesus. And also in the same book, John, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God. And this Word that we are sharing to you is the light that is Christ Jesus. So people do not neglect the light that is brighter than the sun. We never neglect the, the, the shining, the sun, the, the light of the sun. We enjoy it, we, we take it because we can see where we're going, brothers and sisters, but the sun. When you hide them behind the wall, you will not see it. But Jesus Christ, in the darkest time of your life, I encourage you brothers and sisters, in the darkest time of your life, this light, Jesus Christ, will show you the way out. Whatever that you are in, brothers and sisters, whatever that you are in, if you are in a religious uh, situation, God, Jesus, will de can deliver you out from that situation. He's the only light. That's why He came. The light that, that was shining on the hill, on the hill of Calvary. He was hung on that cross for all men to see. So my brothers and sisters, do not neglect this light that is Christ Jesus. So we encourage you, come and receive this light. 
which is Christ Jesus into your heart. Come and accept him. Come and take this light. You know, you need this light. You need this light, Jesus Christ. Because one day, one day, brothers and sisters, this whole world is going to come into darkness. Brothers and sisters, I'm encouraging you, according to the word of God, there comes a day, there comes a time, this world will be in darkness. Brothers, hear me again. I'm going to say it again. This world is going to enter into darkness. Brothers and sisters, when you're in the darkness, the only light that you need is the light of Jesus Christ. The only light that you need, you need Jesus Christ. So do not, do not neglect Jesus Christ. Open your heart to Jesus. You know, we all are here. We are asking you just to pray. Just a moment of prayer with us. You know, there will be a, 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 a decision that you will make that will uh, take you to eternity. So, brothers and sisters, do not neglect Jesus Christ. He is the light that will shine for you in your darkest time in your life. When, when chaos, when problem has no answer, Jesus has the answer for your problem. He will shine and show you the way out. So, brothers and sisters, you know, we love you. God loves you so much. As I mentioned before, God loves you so much. God loves you so much. That's why he gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, that you may have life and life more abundant. There's no other God. Buddha didn't die on the cross for, for mankind. Muhammad didn't. Muhammad didn't die on the cross for mankind. No other God died on the cross except Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only, God, the only person that died on the cross, that went on the cross and took all our sins. So we have to encourage you, brothers and sisters. It's not about denomination. We're not out here to promote our denomination. No, we're out here to promote Jesus Christ, eternal life in Him. Not in a church, but in Christ Jesus. So come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Come and receive Jesus Christ into your heart. I promise you, Jesus is going to bless you. Jesus Christ is going to heal you. If you're walking around with a sickness carrying on upon in your body, the Bible says, Jesus said, I am the healer. I am the healer. I am the healer. If you need to restore, Jesus said, I am the restorer. I can restore upon you what's been stolen from you. What the devil has stolen from you, Jesus can restore back to you. So brothers and sisters, be blessed. You know, be blessed in the name of the Lord. Have a godly evening in Jesus' name. Amen.